right, this is just going to be a short look at the Toy World TW01B uh, Black Hegemon, uh, which has a couple of minor differences from the first release. Uh, but mostly we're going to be looking at the uh, King of Evil set from Firefair, is the FF02 set from Firefair. That, that adds a little bit to Hegemon here. Now, uh, in regards to any changes, like the base figure here is, is the same as the original uh, aside from maybe a couple different paint apps. Like, I don't remember the, the original having these metallic red paint apps on the foot. I could be wrong on that, but I seem to recall that was not there. But basically, he comes with an interchangeable head with uh, a black helmet and yellow light piping. Uh, and that evokes his comic version. And the, in the comics, Megatron had the black helmet with the yellow eyes. Um, in some of the early issues, his eyes even kind of look like goggles. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, in the comics, Megatron had a black head with yellow eyes. I um, mean, he only comes with this mace accessory. Um, he doesn't come with the with the Energon sword or the 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 barrel extension or the stock extension. He just becomes the pistol uh, version of Megatron without without the add-ons you normally see with him because he's mostly he's mostly just there for robot mode. He's uh, uh, with with the new head and the, and the mace weapon, uh, but the robot but he doesn't come with like the full add-ons for for his gun mode. He still turns into a cool little pistol, but. Uh, Seeing as how we've, I've shown him off before, I'm not, I'm not going to dwell on him too much. I mostly want to show off the Firefair kit. Now, as you can see, here's Hegemon uh, by himself. Uh, the Firefair kit comes with two extra heads, uh, a kind of growly face and an angry face, um, as well as two feet extensions. Uh, and it just comes in a little box and a plastic tray like that. Now, and, and part of the reason for these is, one, he's got these kind of dinky little feet anyway. On the, Hegemon, on the Hegemon release. They work just fine, they support him, but they are a little on the small side. Also, if you ever got Orion and Hegemon next to each other, you'll see that Megatron's a little shorter than, than, than Optimus here. Which, I, and, and, I, and I don't think that should be the case, really. I'm okay with like, Optimus being shorter than Megatron, like it happened in the animated, but uh, like, you know, the, these guys look good together aesthetically, but there, there's the height difference. Um, and, so, and the feet are meant to address that. Now to swap out the heads, it's very simple. I'm just going to put this head on just to show you what it looks like. Um, you just basically unscrew the screw back here on the original. Uh, split the two halves apart. Make sure you don't lose that screw. It is very easy to fall out. Uh, unscrew the replacement head. Oh, I've got autofocus on. Well, let me... Dial that in here. There we go. Now we'll switch, swap around so much. And then you just put the two heads together and screw it back on. And there you go. Now the uh, the Firefair head I find fits a little looser than the original head that came stock on on Hegemon. I may go. I'll probably stick with the stock head. Uh, but it does, it does give you a couple options in facial expression uh, that you wouldn't have otherwise had. And the, the foot extensions are actually uh, cooler than I originally thought. When I originally saw these, I thought you were going to have to pop, maybe pop these feet off at the ball joint here and snap these on. And that's not the case at all. The way these work is you just take basically take his foot without any modification to it, and you just slide it right in through here. And then this little post right here pegs into the bottom of the foot. You can kind of see how that locks in. And it just locks right on. It's that simple. You don't have to transform Megatron. You don't have to remove the feet. Um, he's non-transformable with these feet on. But again, since they just pop right on and off, uh, it's much less of an inconvenience than I expected. So you just pop this one on. Pop that one on. Just like that. And then when you have him stand up, now he is more of an equal, equal height with Orion. There's still, you know, there's still a few inconsistencies. Like um, Orion is still front to back and overall generally bulkier, but um, but they, they look much better together on a shelf when next to each other. They they're of even height and they look a lot cooler. It, it just kind of like I said, Megatron gets more fully formed feet, uh, maybe a little on the large size, but less on the large side than I think his previous feet were on the small side. And it just kind of helps his legs look a little bit more more menacing, more more powerful, just because he doesn't have those flat little feet anymore. 
So yeah, uh, that, that's really all there is to it. Different heads, different feet, and it lets them stand on the scale with Orion. Uh, I actually do have the render form head uh, on here right now on Orion. So I guess it makes sense that I've got third party add-ons on Hegemon as well. But, uh, but yeah, they look really nice together. And that was really the uh, extent of the kit's purpose. So job, mission accomplished, I guess is what we're going to say. So yeah, there is Toy World Hegemon 01B, uh, the black version. Like I said, it comes with the black and black helmet, and uh, and then the Firefare FFO2 King of Evil set. Yeah, like there's the the price for this thing is going ridiculous on eBay. Like I saw, the only U.S. seller I saw with it on eBay recently had it for like $145 just for the kit with the two heads and feet. That was it. You got these two feet, the two alternate heads, 145 bucks, which makes me think of back when that uh, first fans project upgrade for cliff jumper came out and it was going for like 300 or something for a couple little pieces to clip on the cliff jumper. And that's kind of ridiculous. There are some, the cheapest seller from overseas, I think was somebody in China who had it for like 61 or $64 with free shipping, but, you know, slow overseas shipping. Um, and that's a little crazy. Um, I was able to, I was able to get mine at the original retail price of $19.99, uh, for the Firefair kit, which, you know, 20 bucks for a couple of pieces of plastic seems a little bit much. In the case of Hegemon, I think, I feel like it's worth it, especially if you already have Orion. If you just have Hegemon by himself, it's cool. Uh, if you can find it at a decent price and you have Orion, it's a great way to make these two uh, more commensurate with each other. They just kind of look a little better squared off on a shelf. But for God's sake, don't don't spend $145 on the kit. It's a nice kit to be sure, but uh, the aftermarket prices have gotten ridiculous. So keep your eye out for somebody selling it at a decent price. But anyway, there it is, the Firefare O2 King of Evil set with the Toy World Hedge on Let's see if I can get him in focus here. Just yeah, there we go. Yeah, definitely a worthy set. Just don't pay too much for it. <laughs>